Here's a basic setup for a figure four trap. The animal lives down in this little hole here, and he has to pass between these two boulders in order to get in there. That means he has to pass through my trigger, or through my trap, the figure four setup right here. Now you notice here's the trigger, and what he's gonna have to do is step on the trigger, push the trigger, or anything like that, in which case this rock is gonna drop on his head, and he's dinner. One of the most important things about a figure four trap, or any kind of trap for that matter, is that you need to use something like these stones to focus the animal's position to bring them into the place where your trap is set up. These stones are perfect for that. So I'm going to leave this one in place and see if he comes home and walks down his hallway. This is obviously a pretty busy trail, so I think I'll set my first snare right in here right in this area. Obviously the animals have to pass through this trail right here and underneath this branch. So I'm going to attach the first snare right here to this branch. How big is it going to be? Well here's the snare here. It's about a palm in diameter, about five fingers in diameter, and I'm going to suspend it right here from underneath this branch. And then I'll anchor it off to the side to a larger branch. Now the snare is attached, it's just suspended from the branch, it's also tied off more tightly to a larger piece of wood behind there. The snare is about five fingers in diameter and a couple of fingers off the ground. And this is about all I need for marmot. Remember, this is going to direct them through here, since there's a lot of brush and other stuff, this is the way their head is going to go. Well, while we were down setting up our snares, this marmot walked down to check out his regular trail and stepped right into our figure four trap. So it looks like we get to eat tonight. <laughs>